hello viewers on youtube in this video i want to share with you how i made this stator so first this what you see right here this ring the ring of uh, ions this one is coming from the car alternator so that car alternator i don't know what happened to it overheated or just broken i don't know anyway i took out all the wires in the housing i took it out that was a long time ago so i was only keeping this knowing that one day like today i will rewind it on my own way so i could use it just to make a little generator so today it's when i started to do this project so quickly see all these wires these wires here the size is 0 0.4 millimeters small this is a small wire okay so 0 0.4 millimeter each and every 10 right here it has 60 tens okay this one to see this step the second one one to see this step so i did this outside six of them one two three four five and six this one okay so it was i was jumping two at the middle the third one and the fourth one here making first then number five going to this number six coming together okay same like that i don't know what this design is called i don't know but this has 36 slots 36 slots if you jump two here then to this side to this side taking these two windings then here you're not jumping coming closer here then the second you're jumping two at the middle then those two at the middle i came with this single and the uh, six or so right here inside okay most of you i know you know about this uh what is the name of it anyway i don't know and after i do all of those things I connected all the wires in series. You can see this this black right here. Black insulation tape all over. Right, so that's how I made this. And the rotor, we're going to use this. As I said, this has 36 slots, so the ratio I chose is going to be 36 slots to these eight poles of magnets we have eight right here one which is north south north south north south north south all right so this is going to be there at the middle so as i said the housing i lost it so i'm going to use these two I know they're ugly, but I believe they're going to do a great job. One bearing is missing. Well, find out. Okay, so right now I'm gonna pause the video, and this will be right here at the middle. Maybe I'm going to add some stuff like this just to hold it strong. Then this will be here, another one will be at the back. So we can see how much voltage we can get from here. All right, 0 0.4 millimeters each and every winding it has 60 tens all right our generator is ready of course there's some errors in this setup and this is hard but anyway at least we're getting something because this is supposed to be soft but anyway, because we're too close to this, so yeah, 
as you can see that here we are getting 13 volts depends how we spin it so let's try to spin it with a rope Well, I believe this is enough. Double check the connection. We're good. Okay. Let's see. Ready? Well, I see 80 volts. Okay, so time to check it out. If we can be able to power something <coughs> with our voltage, here's a 9 watt light bulb. Right here and right here. Let's see if we can power this. Okay, I did not put much. I'm going to put one line. You can see what left this side. Anyway, let's see. If we can power this light bulb. Okay. Of course I knew that. Nine watts. That's small. Okay. Let's add. Here we have 55 watts. This machine. Uh, brown here. blue down here okay let's see this time if we can power all of these guys so nine plus 55 i don't know you do the math yeah this time i put all so this guy is going to move. Yep. I hope we're not going to have short circuit. Ready? Oh, 86. Okay. Okay. Can I do that again? All right. Let's see again. Pulling. Eight. Okay. All right. We've seen this. Fifty-five plus nine. Now let's go big. Let's go with hundred watts. Let's see if we can be able to power it. That's 100. Okay, it's 100 watts, so we need the whole rope. Right. Uh -uh. Go this side. Thank you. Okay. One more time. I didn't see the voltage. I was focusing on a light bulb. But anyway, this time I'm checking the voltage.
All right, that's enough. Ninety one. Ooh, okay. So, what can happen if I can add another one hundred watts? Okay, let's see. Are we going to power all of this with hand rotation? I don't know. One way to find out. Okay, 200 watts. Wow, see 84 volts. All right, if you can allow me to stop right here, I hope you have seen the light from this, these two bulbs. Well, in the next, once you see this guy, we are going to use a DC motor. This huge DC motor, I'm going to use it to spin the rotor. In that time, I'll make sure that this is well settled, not like this. Because I was doing like this just to show you where we are coming from. Anyway, please, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share to others so we can continue sharing some ideas. Thanks for watching.